Hello and welcome to the next tutorial and in this one we're going to learn how to add color and materials to objects in Blender. So first of all select the cube by right clicking on it making sure that you're in object mode. In the properties panel select the materials tab which looks like a checkered sphere. Click the add new material button represented by a plus sign and to change the color click on the white box under the heading Diffuse. Diffuse light is the ordinary everyday light that we are used to seeing before it's affected by external factors. Select a blue color from the color picker and the cube turns blue. This is how easy it is to change the color of an entire object. To change individual faces you must be in edit mode and we'll have a look at that in a little while. In reality, a blue coat looks very different than a blue car or a blue wall, for example. Many factors must be considered when applying materials to objects, and each one affects its appearance. Some of these are the texture, the shininess, and the reflectivity of the surface of the object, all of which can be controlled separately in Blender. Still under the Diffuse heading in the Properties panel, we can click on the Increase Decrease Intensity slider to make the color stronger or weaker. Under the Specular heading, we can increase or decrease the shininess of the object. Using the Hardness slider, you can make the object's surface appear harder or softer. Scroll down the Material Properties panel until you can see the shading heading. Increasing the emit slider makes the object look more cartoony and less realistic, which is great for cell shaded style animations. The higher the emit value, the less the object is affected by shadows and highlights, and the more cartoony it looks. The maximum value for this is 2.0. Scroll down again to the transparency heading. Tick the box to apply transparency to your object. From here you can increase or decrease the opacity of the object by changing the alpha value. A value of 1 is the same as 100% opaqueness and as you reduce it down to 0% you get complete transparency. The next heading in the material properties tab is the mirror heading. Turn this on by ticking the box and then render your image by clicking under the Render tab. If there were backgrounds and other objects, for example, they would be reflected in our cube. You can increase the amount of reflection with the Reflection slider. One is the maximum value. Press Escape to go out of your render screen and back to 3D view. Press Tab to go to Edit Mode. You can apply separate materials to individual faces of any object in Blender. So not only the object itself, but individual faces can have separate colors. Select one of the faces of your cube and create a new material slot by clicking the plus icon on the top right of the material properties panel. The new material slot and the new material buttons are different. So once you've created a material slot, now you can click the new material button below. So you can think of new material slot as a space or a box in which to store your materials. Change the color of your material to red. The face does not change color yet. Click assign to apply the color. The assign button only appears in edit mode. So it only works when you're applying colors to faces in your object. Press W to open the Specials menu and then choose Subdivide and choose two cuts to make a Rubik's Cube style shape. Create new materials, uh, new materials slots that is, for green, yellow, orange and white. And the process is the same. Create a new material slot then add a new material and change the color. Assign different colors to each face of the object. To apply a material that you've already created before, 
just click on the material from the list and then click assign. You should also rename your materials so that it's easier for you to keep track of them all later on. So change material 001 to blue and material 002 to green and so on. Move your camera by pressing zero and then shift F to enter fly mode. And then render your image by clicking on the render tab and clicking the render button. This has been a quick overview of how to apply colors and materials to objects and individual faces of objects in Blender.